Hi, so I wanted to talk about concrete, representational, and abstract. Yes, I'm pulling Bruner in. The thing is, when you're working with kids on their math facts, it needs to really go through that cycle. And it's not like a hierarchy or, you know, unconnected. It, 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 they're in relationship with each other. So I'm going to start concrete. I'm going to start with my fingers in kindergarten. I'm going to start showing kids like one plus one. If we put those together, how much is that? That's concrete. Their fingers are their first tools. Fingers are not a bad thing. Although we don't want kids using them in fifth grade. But they could start with their fingers. They're, it's natural. What if you didn't have any fingers and you put one up? How many do you have now? Right? Fingers are natural. What if you had five and you took them all away? They get it. That's concrete. And then you're going to move to representational. So what I did, and you'll find on the site, is I have a bunch of cards. And they're just little finger cards. So then the, we show the kids the cards. If I have one and you don't add anything, how many is there? If I have two and you add two more, how many is there? So we went from this right, which was the concrete, to this, which was the visual of that, to doing it with cubes, which is another concrete representation, but more abstract, to pictures of cubes, which is a pictorial representation. And then finally, I'm going to show kids equations. I'm going to show them and expose them to equations and to expressions. Because in the standards, it says to expose them to both equations and expression. So I want kids to then know that this plus this has a way that we can see it with numbers and that those, that way is one plus one. I want them to make the connections between the concrete, the pictorial, and the abstract. That's what I'm trying to do, is make that connection. And so in kinder, you should do a lot of work where kids actually are manipulating things. And then they're drawing those things that they're manipulating. And then they're looking at the number representation. Remember, in kinder, they don't have to write expressions and equations, but they should be able to recognize them and understand that they are a way to represent the addition and the subtraction that we're doing. So there is... Just a quick explanation of concrete, pictorial, abstract, and the may way it might look when you are doing addition and subtraction with your kiddos.